How's it going guys? This is uh, Jesus, your Texas truck driver. And um, I'm just showing how to, I'm just showing y'all how to cook uh, some food inside the truck. Pretty easy. I'm running on propane. Can you see right there? I got it on low right there. Mm-hmm. Good vegetables. Gonna mix that with the ground beef. And uh, since I actually got some baked chicken, that's right guys. I actually bake chicken inside my truck. Actually, I prefer to bake it outside. But still, I went ahead and baked chicken. And I don't even got a freaking stove. But anyway, if you're actually gonna go ahead and run on propane, because I know most of you guys actually have the burners and uh, the electric burners, and I know most of y'all will actually, you know, just plug in and put an inverter, 1500 watt, 3000 watt, and there you go. But for the guys that uh, that want to just run propane, just make it more easier. Because if y'all if y'all don't have an inverter, then this will be easier to you know to go. But uh, if you are if you are gonna run propane, please please make sure you be safe and buy yourself one of them uh, carbon monoxide alarms. Okay, it's not that much. I just I got it the camera's focus, but uh. There it is. Carbon monoxide alarm. This will save your life, okay? Um, it's not that much. It's probably like about like 10 bucks, but I went ahead and got the the package deal for 20 for the carbon monoxide alarm and the smoke detector alarm right there. They're both working. Uh, they're both battery powered. Um, I, I choose not to, you know, have it a plug-in power because it would just be too much power for the truck so I just decided to mount it on the wall on both of them and uh, have battery power plus I mean the battery power like that it will, it will last for a very long time but um yeah make sure you actually have these two if you're actually gonna actually run on propane matter of fact even if you don't even cook in your truck it's best for you to have one of those and one of these because Diesel fuel may accidentally get into your vents, and you may not know that, and it might be too late. Because if you actually, if you faint fast, yeah, you're in trouble. So make sure you actually buy those two, okay? I know some of you smart asses out there are gonna be like, "Well, this is actually for outdoor." Oh, guys, see, I have a travel trailer, okay, and. Uh, my travel trailer is running on propane every time I got to cook something. And yes, I did buy an electric burner, but I like my propane. And believe me, I have a carbon monoxide alarm, so that actually keeps me safe. Never really had problems with my propane, and I really hope I never do. And if I do, I hope I'm actually will be ready to you know get out and uh, vent my my truck or vent my camper. Anyway, um. It's actually really easy, guys. Like I said, um, it's not that hard. A lot of folks out there, you know, they think that, oh, shit, just because you become a truck driver, you're going to get fat. Well, it just depends, you know, how the way you take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you go keep eating McDonald's a lot, yeah, you're going to get a little chunky. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go ahead and get big bone in them freaking expensive buffets. But if you can actually, you know, eat right, then you'll be good. Now see, I've been actually trucking for five years. And um me personally, I wanna just keep this a little notch. Me personally, um I've been balanced, you know. Yes, I, I have a goal. I wanna get a six pack and eight pack and but you know trucking, you know, it's it's kinda hard, you know, so I just keep it balanced. I just I try to live, you know, as much as I can, you know, so that's where I test myself guys. I, you know, I actually power bench, you know, that's what I do. So I go to the gym. But, um, you know, you can eat right, you know what I'm saying? You can actually eat right. If you guys are going to be like, well, 
I don't know how to make prep meals. Well, I want to show you. My videos are going to suck, to be honest, because I'm not really a pro at this. And I don't have that GoPro bull crap. But believe me, guys, I'll show you how to, you know, eat right. And you can take my advice. If you don't, you can go ahead and uh, maybe buy yourself for some prep meals, which they'll be kind of expensive still. But there, there will be some good deals if you do want to buy some prep meals, especially for first timers, first buyers. But, um, it's not that hard, guys, really. Like I said, I'm actually, uh, cooking this on low heat. Mmm, I can smell it. it smells really good. I think I should actually add some powder. I'm sorry, not some powder, but like some pepper and uh, salt. Anyway, I'm gonna pause this video real quick, guys. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I already went ahead and added the pepper, salt, and garlic. Uh, ooh! This smells good. Get on there for a little bit longer, and um, once it's soft, drain out the water, and I guess put it like in a bowl. And after that, I'm gonna get started on my ground beef. So, like I said, I'm only making this video short, so I'm not gonna make y'all wait. I'll put it back on as soon as I put the ground beef on there. All right, I already took out the veggies. Um, right now, I just put on the ground beef. Just put some seasoning, a little bit of seasoning. So that's to be too damn salty. How uh, the way I turn on the propane, I use these matches right here. Uh, I guess for the environment right here, extra safe. It's better for you to buy these matches instead of buying yourself a big old lighter and it's gonna run out. I think the matches will last you way longer. You know, like I said, right now I'm actually just uh, cooking the ground beef. And uh, I'll put you back on as soon as it gets done. Thank you. Look at that right there. It's cooking really, really good, guys. Beautiful, beautiful ground beef. It's about maybe 90% 90 percent, um, 90 percent uh, beef, and I think 10 percent. I'm sorry, it's probably 85 percent beef and about 15 percent fat. I usually go to HEB because it's mostly 96 percent beef and like maybe 4 percent fat, but I, I didn't have time to go to HEB. So I got this actually at Walmart, but hey, the more beef, the less fat, the better. That's how I do it. All right, guys, um, I already done, I already got done uh, cooking the beef. You see right here, um, I went ahead and took out all the oils out. So it doesn't have to be any oil in the beef. Uh, I mean, I know it's not completely all out, but I'm gonna say maybe at least like 80%. At least 75% or 80%. The oil is already all out. You know, which will help you eat more healthier. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetables in there, mix them up, and I'm gonna add in these containers. Now what these are, this is what a prep meal will kind of look like. Where well, it has a big old, you know, side right here and a, your main right here but um i'll show you in a little bit guys let me just go ahead and get this done and uh we'll wrap up this video thank you all right guys final result so i may have this for lunch may have this for dinner this is just ground beef with veg uh with mixed vegetables with white rice this is actually baked chicken with mixed vegetables oh, what the fuck mixed vegetables with white rice same thing here here this is what a prep meal looks like now to be honest with you guys this is what I'll do uh, I'll eat this like I said Monday Tuesday and then there's gonna be Wednesday or you can eat Monday then Tuesday eat like one of them cheap ass burgers or subway sandwiches then Wednesday continue your prep meals then Thursday if you want to go eat a salad or buffet you can and Friday you just finish it off 
Um, the only reason why I started doing this because I am in the oil field. I am a sand hauler, so there'll be some days, man. I'll be there all day and I won't have food. Well, not anymore because I'm actually prepared right here and also being healthy. So I really hope you like this video, guys. I'm sorry if I have a crappy ass video, but I'm just did whatever I can to help y'all out. Everybody have a blessed day. All right, this is uh, 2019 Jesse the Truth. You're a Texas truck driver. Peace.